Whoa! 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 Yeah, so if the housing market has you feeling a little unstable as if the ground under you is shaking, you can calm down. This is actually a virus crisis, not a housing crisis. Hey, Tom Lowe here with HomeSmart Real Estate Associates. Tom Lowe Real Estate, your producer turned full-time real estate broker. Uh, just with a little bit of a short market update. When I was a kid, I used to love looking at the video of this bridge tearing itself apart in November of 1940. And it had only been open for five months. It was open in July of that year. Um, but they knew that they had issues as they were building it. Uh, they've used small girders on it in order to so keep the uh, keep it light uh, and make the construction much faster. But that was a big mistake, obviously. So as a 40 mile an hour gust came roaring through the narrows down there, the bridge started to oscillate and it kept getting worse and worse and worse until it finally tore itself apart. And the only casualty of that was a dog named Tubby, a three-legged dog that got left inside his car famously. There's a dog park on the other side of the bridge there now named after him. Um, I get asked all the time, what's happening with the housing market? Currently, uh, we now have less than one month of home, uh, you know, inventory on the market right now, which means that if people stop putting their homes on the market, in less than four weeks, we would be out of stuff to, homes to sell. Um, and that's kind of crazy. We call that a frenzied market, which means that if you're a buyer, you can pretty much guarantee or count on that you're going to have multiple offer situations. Um, so you need to be uh, working with a realtor that really understands what's going on in that market. Um, and they can build an offer that will really help get you the home. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that you can put in an offer to help um, the seller say yes. <laughs> Um, and each house is individually different and each, each um, situation is slightly different. The other side of it is, is we've had prices rising and that's uh, basically a, a, the law of supply and demand, right? So if there's not many houses on the market, you're gonna start seeing the prices rise. Year over year, here in Pierce County, we actually saw prices rise 8%, a little over 8% actually, which is great for if you're a seller, right? So with less than one month of inventory on the market, that's a seller's market. Uh, I do have some programs that really help sellers get their homes ready to sell. Uh, there are some things you can do to, so that you sort of put yourself in the position to be one of the people that actually sells their home in 72 hours or less in this crazy world we're living in right now. Um, if you're a buyer in this market, it's an exciting time. Uh, the one best advice I can give you is don't fall in love with the house until you really have got it. Um, it's, uh, it can be really frustrating. Uh, expect to be in multiple offer situations and expect that you probably won't get the first house you put an offer on. Um, but make sure you're working with someone that really understands uh, how to put position your offer in the best possible light so that you just basically give all the sellers, uh, they just don't have a way to say no. All they can do is say yes to you. And that usually comes down to money, unfortunately, in this market anyway. Um, anyway, uh, Tom again here. Um, uh, thanks for listening and I will see you next time and enjoy this drizzly Sunday morning. It's all supposed to burn off, I think, and be beautiful. But uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.